Hola amigos, uh, this is chapter 4, lesson 7, how to divide fractions. Uh, let's get right to it. Uh, the first thing that I want you to write down is to divide fractions. and draw an arrow. So to divide fractions, this is your strategy, and I'm going to write it uh, really big. Same, change, flip. Okay, that's our strategy. Same, change, flip. You're going to hear me saying that a lot when we're talking about dividing uh, with fractions. So I'm going to highlight our strategy. Same, change, and flip. Same, change, flip. All right, here's an example of what that strategy means. Same change flip. If you are trying to divide 2 thirds divided by 1 sixth, the first fraction stays the same. So let's put our problem right here. 2 thirds divided by 1 sixth. This fraction stays exactly the same. Nothing happens to it. Change means dividing gets changed to multiplying. So this one stays the same. Dividing changes to multiply. And this fraction gets flipped. Or we learned in the last uh, lesson, that's called the reciprocal. We want the reciprocal of 1 sixth, which is 6 over 1. And I guess I should have had an arrow right here, too. Same change flip. This fraction stays the same. So now we can highlight what that meant. This stays the same. 2 thirds, 2 thirds. Change means that you started with dividing, but you're changing it to multiplying. And finally, the flip means you want the reciprocal of the second fraction, the divisor, what you're dividing by. After that, now it's just multiplying. And we've been multiplying fractions for a few days now. We multiply numerators. 2 times 6 is 12 over 3 times 1, which is 3. We get an improper fraction, 12 thirds, which we can simplify. How many threes go into 12? Our answer is 4. So 2 thirds divided by 1 sixth, the answer to that is 4. Um, and this is the strategy you're going to be practicing today. Same change flip. Uh, here is your hidden treasure for today. We're going to do another example, but I'm just going to do the hidden treasure in the middle of the lesson, not at the very end. Here's your hidden treasure. Uh, in your workbook, go back to page 54, look at power-up question number 17, and if you can explain your answer for that question uh, during the next lesson when I uh, draw sticks for hidden treasure, you could be the winner. Okay, let's do one more example. Uh, four fifths divided by six. So I'm just first I'm going to copy the problem. Four fifths divided by six. And now I'm going to use the same change flip strategy. So four fifths is going to stay the same. Divide is going to change to multiply, and 
I want the reciprocal of 6. Remember from a couple of lessons ago, anytime you have a whole number, you can make it a fraction by putting that number over 1 if you wanted to. So 6 is the same thing as 6 over 1. And now my reciprocal is flipping numerator and denominator. So the reciprocal would be 1 6. Uh, so let's highlight those steps. So same. This one stayed the same. First fraction stayed the same. Second fraction, I mean, I'm sorry, the change was changing, uh, dividing into multiplying. So dividing got changed into multiplying. And the flip we had a 6, which is the same thing as 6 over 1. We flipped that into its reciprocal, and here's what we're solving. This multiplication problem right here, 4 fifths times 1 sixth. Uh, remember, right here before you multiply is where you could also simplify with a, any numerator and any denominator that have a common factor. Um, I know that even numbers like this 4 numerator and this denominator 6. 2 is a common factor for both of those because they're both even. So I'm going to divide this by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Just want to, I want to simplify there before I get the bigger numbers. That's always easier. So now I'm going to multiply straight across. 2 times 1 is 2, and 5 times 3 is 15. So 4 fifths divided by 6, the answer to that is 2 fifteenths. Okay, this is what you're going to be practicing today. Again, remember, whenever you are dividing fractions, you have one fraction divided by another one, this is your strategy. Same, change, flip. First fraction stays the same. You change dividing into multiplying, and the second fraction you, want, you rewrite it as its reciprocal, which means you flip numerator and denominator. Okay, uh, stay tuned in class for your practice problems, and one more lesson to go uh, in Chapter 4. Lesson 8 will be next. Remember to uh, continue reviewing Chapter 4. See you next time.